Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slapper Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I'm doing a viewer request today. Someone asked me to do a Puerto Rican style smoked chicken mofongo with chicharrones. So we're going to be doing a trip down to Puerto Rico, showing you guys how we cook some plantains and make it into mofongo for a fantastic Spanish-inspired dish called chicken mofongo. bit of uh, yellow mustard to help it stick then the adobo rub that's the seasoned chicken we're gonna throw in the smoker next we're gonna put it in a 325 degree pit this is the pits and spits color cooker going into the pit I have some garlic here in a foil pan with a little bit of uh, oil and a little bit of rub we're gonna roast the garlics to make our mofongo for the sofrito Let's get the plantains ready for making the mofongo and uh, they are actually plantains can be purchased kind of ripe ones or the green ones they have a different flavor so I'm gonna prep a little bit of both because uh, to show you guys that there are variations in the way you do this so you can buy a plantain you slice it down the middle like so and then you peel off the skin make sure you wear gloves because this tends to stick to you the ones that are green usually a little bit harder to peel so what you do is you get all the coating off plantains are usually fried but we're going to show you guys how to pit roast it which is a similar technique we're just going to put some oil on it do a pit roasted plantains so you can see these are the green ones and uh, they are not sweet at all the uh, one that is uh, kind of more ripe that's a little bit sweeter so it's your preference as to which flavor you prefer in case you're wondering what Mofongo is, mofongo is sort of a plantain carb that many cultures in the world eat. This actually originated from uh, Africa. And uh, in Africa, it's very common to eat something called fufu. Fufu is uh, basically a yams or plantains or cassava root that is uh, cooked and pounded into a kind of a little paste. And that's eaten as the starch. So kind of like, you know, you have potatoes, you have uh, tortillas, you have a, a kind of rice you have many different kinds of starches eaten by many cultures around the world mofongo actually evolved from the african fufu and that's you know related to the pounding of the yams and cassava into starch in puerto rico the uh, spanish influence in the culture uh you know has additional ingredients that they use in their version of mofongo such as garlic so fritos uh, you know pork chicharrones like uh, chicharrones here we're gonna put some chicharrones in there for flavor we're gonna do some uh, roasted garlic the uh, mofongo first appeared in puerto rico around 1859 and uh, they started making mashed plantains with smoked garlic smoked pork belly with chicken seafood and uh, it's usually pounded in a mortar and pestle wooden one called pilon and uh, this type of a mofongo is actually very common in Caribbean culture. So if you are from, uh, uh, you know, like for example, you're from Dominican Republic, it's called mangu. If you're Colombian, my brother-in-law is Colombian, he calls it uh, calle. And uh, Peru is called ta ta taracho, tachacho or something. And then Cuba is called fufu de platano. So many different names, but they're all variations of cooking starch. Uh, this is my rendition of a Puerto Rican mofongo. So please, if you're Puerto Rican, do not tell me or leave my comments saying I'm doing it wrong. I'm just doing it my way. There are many iterations of ways to do mofongo, just like barbecue, right? Everything in barbecue is a three-hour argument. If you talk to somebody from the Caribbean, they'll tell you doing it mofongo wrong because, you know, their way is the right way. So, you know, just do it any way you want. This is just my way. And uh, there are many, many starch variations. Sometimes you can do the cassava, you do the taro, Red fruit, uh, you can do it with ripe plantains, you can do it unripe plantains. So I'm doing a little bit of both. I'm, I'm doing it with the ripe plantains. I kind of like the sweet flavor of ripe plantains when I make my mofongo. Some people like it in a traditional uh, unripened form, that's okay too. So just pick a style of kind of plantains that you like. This can be made with uh, like a meat, braised meats. It can also be made with uh, seafood. So 
You can make like a, you know, like a churrasco style chimichurri. You can do a Mexican salsa, ceviche. Plenty of options here, but I just want to kind of, you know, open your eyes to the cuisine that's possible when you look at plantains as a source of a starch and food instead of looking at plantain like bananas. Okay, we have the ripe ones and the unripe ones. I'm gonna slice them now into about one inch rings. So, put some oil on it and a little bit of salt, or you can use barbecue rub. I'm gonna use some of my all purpose. It's a light dusting, but we smoke the plantains to make some wonderful mofongo. Garlic is done. Let's remove the garlic. Let's check on the vegetables also for the sofrito. We got garlic, tomato, peppers, and the plantains. All right, still going. We'll let this cook some more. Let's give it a spray with some. I can't believe it's not butter. In about an hour and 15 minutes, the chicken is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we're ready now to cook it in a pan to braise it some more. Cover it. I'm just checking for tenderness. Okay, so this is ready. Still a little hard. The veggies are ready. Spread it up a little bit here. After we make the sofrito, we want to use some uh, seasoning to make sure that we flavor it well. We're going to use some of the adobo seasoning that we used for the chicken. We sprinkle some of it, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Just a touch to get to the right level of salt. Chicken spent about an hour wrapped and about an hour, 10 minutes to get the crust. We let it cool down while we prepare the mofongo so everything is nice and hot. Mofongo is mashed plantains. It's typically made with olive oil but I'm going to use some of the uh, chicken fat from cooking the chicken, so it's gonna be absolutely yummy. I'm gonna get about a couple of tablespoons of chicken broth and fat in it, and my cooked plantains. You're supposed to use a wooden mortar pestle, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna use my regular own mortar pestle. We have the pit roasted plantains. I have uh, some beautiful pit roasted garlic here with the broth, I'm gonna mash it up. And you want it to be the consistency of kind of rough mashed potatoes and it's all going to come together. And you have a choice of using the ripe plantains or the unripe. Between the unripe and the ripe, I prefer the ripe one. So you can make it any way you like. This is my interpretation of how I make my mofongo. You can add uh, more or less of the chicken broth as you like. If you don't have chicken broth, you can go ahead and use olive oil. The traditional one is to use some Spanish olive oil but the chicken broth has so much better flavor. And after that, when we're ready, we'll get some of these uh, chicharrones in there. Once we mash it up, crumble some chicharrones, and then we'll soak up some of the liquid. So, and I'm gonna season it with some of the homemade adobo seasoning. So a pinch of that seasoning, it's gonna be, have a tremendous flavor from the chicken oil, chicken broth, chicharrones, pit roasted plantains, be absolutely amazing. Let's shred our chicken and add the sofritos. the mofongo smoked in the pit together with the chicken that had a scratch made adobo seasoning. We use the adobo seasoning in several different places including not just the chicken but we use it on the mofongo. We use some of the uh, chicken stock that we rendered in the pit to make the mofongo. 
The plantains are going to be a mix of some of the ripe and the unripe ones. I kind of like a little blend so that it's a little bit slightly, slightly just a, has a savory sweetness to it. Let's give it a shot here. Chicken is absolutely amazing. Look at that, perfectly cooked. You can see that here. Take a bite. Chicken is perfectly smoked. That adobo seasoning is really, really good. The sofritos with the smoked bell pepper, onion, garlic, and tomatoes, absolutely delicious. Let me try a little bit of mofongo now. It's getting a chicken broth here, so the chicken broth really makes everything super delicious and moist. Here's a mofongo. Take a bite of it, it's kind of like a mashed potato. The smoke from the plantain, together with the chicharrones, a little bit of the chicken, chicken uh, broth, even with some of the chicken oil. Absolutely amazing bite. I'm gonna have a bite now with the chicken and the mofongo together. Like that, I'll show you guys how it looks like. Absolutely amazing. Wow, really delicious. If you never tried a like a chicken mofongo with plantains, Puerto Rican style, or in this case, my style, my rendition of it, please give this recipe a try at home. Now for me talking now, let's see if Mr. Beans wants to try some. I prepared a plate for Mr. Beans and I know you guys told me not to feed him any garlic or onions so I've taken out the uh, garlic and onion so the sofrito only has the bell pepper and the tomato. Here's a little bit of the mofongo and the chicken, a combination of white meat and dark meat. So before I feed Mr. Beans, if you guys can do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel. YouTube hasn't been showing my videos because uh, my subscriber base isn't growing because no one's uh, subscribing to my channel anymore. So we're kind of stuck at uh, whatever the count of the subscriber is. So if you do me a big favor, if you guys can hit the subscribe button before you see me feed beans, I really appreciate it. Okay, beans, no brisket today, but I got something hopefully better for you. A little bit of Puerto Rican style chicken mofongo with smoked chicken and smoked plantains. So give it a shot and let me know what you think. All right, he's going to eat the uh, chicken. Grab the mofongo, a little bit of sofritos. All right, what do you think, Beats? Thumbs up. <laughs> I think he likes it. So you got a little mofongo dog here. Thanks for stopping by watching my channel. I'd like to do a shout out and thanks to all my patrons for helping support my channel, crowd sponsoring my work. If you find value in what I do, if you could do me a favor, go to Patreon and check out some of the additional benefits that we provide exclusive videos, Zoom classes, behind the scenes, and very much more.